I think one of the things you're, you are supposed to do when you do uh, this kind of feedback is to say, well, where would you disagree with Peter? And I don't know that we disagree, but I know these things were not focused on uh, in his book. In, in, in my book, in my own belief, is that the real fundamental cause of the financial crisis were errors made by the Federal Reserve. We don't live, we don't have a private banking system in the United States. We don't have a private monetary system in the United States. You have a government-owned monetary system. Uh, if you have problems in the monetary system, they are by definition caused by government policy because the government owns a monetary system. And the Federal Reserve has been uh, very destructive and very creative of economic cycles. Uh, in this case, uh, Alan Greenspan made some really bad mistakes in the early 2000s because he wanted to go out a hero. We were having a minor economic correction. He created negative real interest rates, which is a huge incentive for people to borrow, and particularly an incentive when house prices were appreciating. And then uh, Bernanke created an inverted yield curve, which for the banking business is a disaster because banks borrow short and lend long. We suddenly had negative spreads, which is a whopping incentive for people to take assets of risk, which is one reason this bubble went exponential the last several years. So the context in which these mistakes were made were really Federal Reserve policy, and they got reflected primarily in the housing market because of government housing policy, and specifically Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. And Overinvestment in housing is particularly destructive. That's why this was an unusually big bubble. It was pushed further, but it was also very destructive because housing is consumption. People don't think of housing as consumption, but you consume a house. So we incented a massive overconsumption, which is analogous in, in agriculture to eating our seed corn, which is one reason we've had such a hard time getting the production process going again. And, and while this process went exponential, uh, we taught millions of people how to build houses, how to be real estate brokers, how to be mortgage bankers, and they've been having to learn new jobs. So this housing misinvestment in the context of government, of Federal Reserve monetary problem, policy was particularly destructive from an economic perspective and something we've been trying to, to recover from. 